is uh, Jeff Delorier. I'm the program chair for the Sound Design for Visual Media uh, degree program at IPR. You know, when a student first enters IPR, um, the, I think one of the coolest things is they're immediately surrounded by like-minded people who want to create soundtracks for film, for television, for video games. And uh, being around other people like that is, is very important. Something that keeps me motivated on a daily basis is the fact that we pride ourselves at IPR as a faculty um, and staff for that matter um, in, in being engaged in the industry, not just teaching it, but also doing it. We're, we work in, a, in a, te a very technical environment and we need to have the gear that uh, is being currently used uh, out in the real world and, and that's what we strive to do on a daily basis. I think about that. I think about what do we have in our studios and is that what's being used out there right now? And uh, it is. <laughs> you know, to answer my own question, it is the gear that's being used out there. Students like to hear real world examples and, and a lot of times that helps solidify uh, the information that you're trying to get across. If you just uh, kind of spew it out and lecture it <laughs> and, and, and don't apply it to a real world experience, it can uh, sometimes be hard to absorb that and retain that information. Uh, the approach we take is very hands-on. Um, not only do we have a lot of theory that is involved um, and obviously, you know, quote unquote, book smarts, but there's also, uh, we, we bring them immediately into the studios and we immediately uh, immerse them in the technology, hands-on, hooking up the, the entire facility, basically, hooking up the patch bay, hooking up the ins and outs of the, of the console. Uh, um, and actually routing the signal and getting audio from a microphone through all of the recording gear, including the console, and through the recorder and out to the speakers. <laughs> That's what a student experiences immediately upon entering IPR. Within the Sound Design for Visual Media program, we have some classes, and towards the beginning of that program, uh, some of the classes, uh, actually a lot of the classes, are very similar to the uh, audio production engineering uh, degree program. You get out to about the third or the fourth quarter and it actually starts getting more specific into uh, the sound design side of things. Post-production one gives you kind of a 101 overview of the world of audio post-production. What is Foley? What is ADR? What is an ambient sound effect? Um, these are very basic things but we need to start out at a basic level because not everyone knows what these things are. Uh, the post-production two class, we move into that and that actually, um, uh, you immediately dive off the high dive into the deep of the technical. So we get into um, synchronization concepts. A lot of times in post-production scenarios, we're synchronizing a mark multiple digital audio workstations or recording systems together to be able to have organizational skills of sound effects libraries, to, to be able to um, work in a large-scale mixing workflow environment, um, dealing with large track counts. I'm, I mean, these things just continue to build and build and build, and more towards the end when you get to the capstone level class, um, the technical learning never stops, and it never will in, in a person's career, which is one of the exciting things. Uh, but uh, we actually inject more of the aesthetics. You know, we know now that you, you know how to use these, these tools. You have the skill set to use these tools, but we want to also instill a um, understanding of when to use those tools and how to use those tools in order to achieve the goal that the producer or director, more than likely the director, is looking for. A graduate from the Sound Design for Visual Media program has a, a large number of jobs that, uh, that are available to them out there. As an example, you watch the credits roll on a movie, and when, it's, when it gets to the sound department, <laughs> uh, look at that. Some of the positions uh, sound design for visual media graduates are finding are uh, sound mixer, uh, sound recordist, sound effects recordist, uh, boom operator, um, and that's just on set. <laughs> and there are a number of people uh, doing that on, on major motion picture sets. In the studio, obviously, you've got uh, the sound designer themselves. You have a sound effects editor, sound effects recordist, Foley recordist, Foley uh, editor, ADR recordist, ADR editor. The list goes on and on. There's quite a large uh, list of uh, potential jobs. I guess the last thing I would tell a graduate from the Sound Design for Visual Media program as they're entering the real world uh, would be to uh, stay true to yourself, uh, keep positive, um, you know, 
keep those goals in sight, remember your goals, um, and remember your training.